the Quest 3 is a great headset for room scale VR. But sometimes you just want to enjoy VR in a more relaxed position. We're gonna have a look at Quest 3 games that you can play while sitting down. While most first-person shooters are fast-paced, run-and-gun type of experiences, this one was designed as a seated experience. Since the whole game is played from a tactical kayak and has been designed around this unique method of locomotion. Which makes it very special overall since the point is to be stealthy and take out enemies without being detected. The great thing is that the developer has weaved this into the story as you are infiltrating a Russian base that has been flooded. So you're paddling around in a kayak full of awesome weapons and gadgets while navigating through the environment and distracting or taking out enemies to slip past them undetected. I've mentioned this one before, but it absolutely deserves to be on this list too. This wacky Mario Kart lookalike has a lot of different tracks, weapons and power-ups and was specifically designed to be played seated since your character is literally sitting down while racing through the multitude of environments while trying to get and stay in first place and whack anyone who tries to take the victory away from them. In case it wasn't immediately obvious, this title is a multiplayer one so you can race your friends or others online to become the ultimate champion. For those potentially prone to motion sickness, the game also has a number of comfort options for reducing any nausea or nasty feelings, so it's a fantastic seated experience and generally a very well made and super fun game. This title has a very good balance between arcade and flight simulation genres that makes it super fun for both beginners and experienced flight sim enthusiasts. And since the whole game is based around flying different types of aircraft, playing it seated is absolutely ideal. With lots of missions to do and stunts to perform, you'll progress through the levels and unlock more and more goodies. While the cartoonish look of Ultra Wings may put some of you off, you should know that a lot of the reviews on the Meta Store are from die-hard Flight Simulator fans, and they all say that this game is a ton of fun with physics-accurate controls and flying, just with an arcade twist to the missions. So if you're looking forward to taking to the skies from the comfort of your chair or couch and without requiring a PC, then this one is a very good option. Also make sure to check out the first Ultra Wing since it still holds up very well to this day. Let's move on to a more relaxing experience with this incredible looking VR fishing title. You'll be able to cast your line in a variety of breathtaking photorealistic locations and catch a vast array of fish that you'll then showcase in the aquarium from your awesome fishing cabin. The physics match the level of realism that the environments have, so whether fishing is one of your hobbies or not, you won't be disappointed by this one, and the even more amazing thing is that you can get together with a friend because the game features multiplayer. So what better way to meet up with your best bud and just chill out by the water with a cold one next to you? As a story-driven experience that plays absolutely beautifully while sitting down, the Moss series should make your favorites list pretty much instantly. Both games offer a great balance of puzzles and light combat scenes where you will be helping out the tiny heroine named Quill. You'll be transported into the rodent-sized diorama world as the Reader, a powerful force that cannot be seen but helps the residents of Moss, specifically Quill, to navigate her environment and overcome obstacles. The visual and sound design in these games are among the absolute best ones out there, and the way the 3D audio and on-screen animations sync up is just a magical experience. You won't be able to stop yourself from falling in love with the game worlds and characters. Everything about them is absolutely delightful and you should surely keep it in mind as a top-seated experience. So get comfortable and start unfolding the story of this masterpiece. We cannot talk about seated experiences without mentioning this absolute treasure of a game. Not only has it come out with many, many free expansions already, but it's also multiplayer. And if you're playing on Quest 3, the pass-through mode is an absolute must-try. Conquer the dungeons alone or with friends and strategize on how to best use your cards and characters' abilities to defeat the hordes of enemies. This is literally one of those games that absolutely needs to be in every Quest owner's library. Because the level of polish, storytelling and replayability is just off the charts. Being a spy is always something I've dreamed of as a kid and even up to my teenage years and just between us, I was actually extremely close to achieving that dream, true story. Anyway, back to the games, as you probably figured out by now, you'll take on the role of a spy in this series. That is brilliantly designed and written as a sort of puzzle slash escape room experience with an interesting twist, which is, as the title suggests, that dying is a part of the game because you'll learn things every time you die and be all the wiser next time you give it a go and get a better idea of which objects to interact with and how. 
It's quirky, fun and challenging and a very good seated experience so I could not miss including it in this list. I'm hoping to pass 30k subscribers by the end of 2023 so if you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe for more awesome content. Now let's get back to some more games that you can play sitting down without missing out on anything they have to offer. Before you think to yourself, wow, really Andy, Tetris in this day and age? Let me explain why I've included this in the video. It's a highly regarded title that has won over 50 awards and it's developed by the same studio that made the extremely praised Res Infinite. Yes, it's a Tetris game at its core, but it's the most relaxing and visually impressive version of it you've ever tried. From the music sync to the Tetris blocks to the over 30 stunning backgrounds that react to your moves, it's one of those games that completely takes your mind off your worries and cares and puts you in a very zen state of mind. Rick and Morty is probably my favorite animated series ever, but whether you've ever watched it or not, if you enjoy adult-oriented and at times dark humor, satire and just overall quirkiness and the casual use of the f-word, then you'll really enjoy this one. Because it was made by one of the co-creators of that TV show and it features the same types of characters, voices and just disturbingly creative screenwriting. The game is a platformer designed to be played entirely seated and will not feature you freely roaming around environments and physically grabbing objects. As the whole premise is that your character uses a controller to play the entire game by moving Trover through the environment, solving puzzles and fighting foes. You need to be ready for some stand-up levels of belly-hurting laughing because this is for sure the funniest game you'll ever see in the entire meta store. Whether you're a serious poker player or just want to hang out and play a few casual games with your friends, this one is a must-have in your library. Especially since it's completely free and of course since you're sitting at a virtual poker table, it's designed to have you sitting down in real life too. It has managed to combine live and online poker in an experience that immerses you in the game so much that it's definitely the next best thing to playing in person. Maybe even better since you can play with people from all over the world, all at the same table. The poker chips and cards have realistic physics and you'll also have a huge array of interactive toys and accessories to keep your hands busy while the other players decide if they want to call your bluff or not. It also features slots, blackjack, roulette and crap, so there you go, a virtual casino at home. The Room series is a long-standing, puzzle-solving, escape room-like game that has been available on phones and tablets for quite a while, which was already a ton of fun as a flat game, but bringing it into VR and actually being able to physically look around and use your hands to solve the increasingly complicated puzzles is just mind-blowing. It plays extremely well as a seated experience, as you'll have to find clues around the environment and use them to solve puzzles that get you closer and closer to completing your goal. This series has always looked fantastic even on smartphones and its newest VR edition is no exception. Everything is very detailed and the puzzles themselves are clever as hell so if you enjoy a challenge and are a fan of atmospheric games you'll love this one. This one might come as a surprise but it's actually one of the few FPS titles that plays extremely well seated and it's also totally free. It automatically detects your height when starting up the game and feels very natural while sitting down. I actually play it like this since it's much more comfortable, especially on a swivel chair that allows you to quickly turn as needed. As pretty much the staple of Battle Royale games on the Quest platform, the mechanics are just as fun as they look in the trailer and shooting, climbing and flying are very well implemented core mechanics of the game. It has become a must-have VR title in my humble opinion and I've had some super fun sessions in this game. I've tested all of the games on this list myself and they work brilliantly while sitting down. So that's why I consider them the best in this category, but if you think I've missed any great ones, please leave a comment down below to help other viewers make an informed decision when looking for this type of games. If you still have time to hang out and want to watch more videos, I have a suggestion for you here and another one here. So feel free to decide for yourself what you want to watch next. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Enjoy VR. Cheers guys!